Welcome to the Belted Galloway Homestead. I'd like to talk about a layer of fly control in this video. The fly control I'm talking about is the costly, dreaded, and deadly horn fly. In reality, a horn fly doesn't have horns, and it also doesn't feed on the horns of cattle. It causes billions of dollars of damage to the cattle industry sucking the blood and money right out of your herd. Here's a picture of about 200 flies on the back of a cow. Industry experts estimate that that's a, a tolerable amount of flies on the back of a cow. We go here further, the flies get thicker. And again, they're biting. They're probably their name comes from their mouth where they can bite and suck the blood out of the cows on the back where they, they can't be reached. We look at the life cycle of a horn fly. You'll start off with the fly is biting on the animal. Fly leaves the cow, lays eggs in the manure. Fly then returns back to the cow to continue feeding and sucking blood out of the cow. The eggs hatch in the larvae in about one or two days. And that's inside the cow patty, the manure patty out in the pasture. Larvae feed and grow in the manure for three to five days. Then the larvae changes into a pupa and then it'll emerge as a adult fly out of the manure and start the feeding cycle all over again. Flies to the nearest cow and starts feeding on the cow and starts the cycle all over. One way to break this cycle is to buy a mineral tub that has fly control in it. You can see here that the belties are really going at it. And then their manure will have this IGR in it. And it will break the cycle, the life cycle of the horn fly as they uh, lay the eggs in the manure and the eggs hatch the larvae will feed on the manure that's got the IGR in it. And then that will then transfer over to the larvae and the pupa. And then a fly never emerges from the manure then. It prevents, a, it prevents that last stage. So you break that cycle, the fly does not go and land on the, the animal, biting it, sucking blood, and then continue to lay eggs again and continue the process. So this is the first stage, first first layer of fly control. Uh, we have quite a few here on the homestead.